In this lecture, we're going to add fingerprint authentication to our Ionic applications. To start with, let's make a new Ionic project or integrate this one with your current Ionic project. I've done this with Ionic start fingerprint dash AIO blank. After that, we can add the Cordova plugin by saying Ionic plugin add Cordova dash plugin dash fingerprint dash AIO. And we can add dash dash save to commit this to config.xml. Then we can add the Ionic native wrapper for this plugin by saying npm install at Ionic dash native slash fingerprint dash AIO. And then we can save this to package.json with dash dash save. After that, we can open this up inside a Visual Studio code. And the first thing that we have to do is head over to appmodule.ts and we can import from Ionic dash native slash fingerprint AIO. We can import the fingerprint AIO and import this in the list of providers. I'm then going to change our home.html to have a title of fingerprint AIO, a button, and the button text is going to be show fingerprint dialog. I'll ensure to add the iron button attribute to that and a click event of show fingerprint dialog. Let's remove the nav controller and replace that with platform. So we can inject private platform, platform. We can also import from antionic native slash fingerprint dash AIO, the fingerprint AIO and the fingerprint options. We can inject the fingerprint AIO by saying private fingerprint of type fingerprint AIO. And then we can write our function named show fingerprint dialog. To show the dialog, we need to say this dot fingerprint dot is available to check to see whether the fingerprint is available. Prior to doing this, we'll ensure the function is async. We'll also say this dot platform dot ready to ensure that the platform is ready. We'll add a wait before this and we'll also surround this inside of a try catch. If there are any errors, we'll console.error, the error, and we will make a new variable called available equal to the result of this dot fingerprint dot is available. Ensure you add a wait before that, and we can get that result by saying console.log available. I'm now going to add the Android platform to test this on the device. So let's say Ionic platform add Android. And then we can run Ionic run Android dash L. This will start a live reload server and any changes that we make will be updated on the device. So if we click show fingerprint dialog, we get OK. And that OK comes from the fact that the fingerprint is available. So back in our code, we can say if available is equal to OK, then we can say this dot fingerprint dot show and the show requires some fingerprint options. So let's now make some fingerprint options. We've imported it here from Ionic native fingerprint AIO. So let's make a new variable called fingerprint options of type fingerprint options. And perhaps inside of our constructor, we can set these options. So let's take a look at what is inside these fingerprint options. We have a client ID. We have a client secret. And do note that the secret is only needed on Android and the option to disable a backup option. This one is only for Android and optional. So let's set up our options by saying the client ID is going to be equal to at this point, something like fingerprint dash demo, the client secret, we will just simply put to passwords and we will disable a backup option. So disable backup true. If we pass these options to our fingerprint, we can now say this dot fingerprint dot show and pass in this dot fingerprint options. We can capture the result of this by saying const result is equal to await this dot fingerprint dot show. And then we can console dot log those results. If we now click the show fingerprint dialog, you won't be able to see this on screen because I'm using a real device and not an emulator, but it says fingerprint authentication 
confirm fingerprint to continue. If I select cancel, we do get that canceled and that comes from our console.error here. And that's because this fingerprint.show returned in error. But if I click it again, and this time I confirm my fingerprint, it says fingerprint recognized and it shows the fingerprint. So that wraps up using the fingerprint authentication with iOS and Android within our Ionic applications.